Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. One of the great things about living in the Harbor City is just when you think you know almost everything there is to know about your community, you discover something new. That's what we're doing today on Go. Trading in normal for more fulfilling. Sailing into the BC Summer Games and sensory deprivation in a float tank. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. I'm just overwhelmed by the beauty here at the GR Payne Horticultural Centre. We're going to find out what it's all about today on Go Island. But first, she gave up the comforts of home to live a vagabond life. She took her dog and hit the road. Here's Rayanne LaPlante now on Gabriola Island. It's hard not to smile and be happy in here. It is so beautiful. The color, the smell, all of these hanging baskets were designed by Ann Kavari. How many different types do you have here? Um, we have probably about five or six different styles of baskets between the shade baskets and the sun baskets. Okay, and all the ones that are in this greenhouse are designed to be in the sunshine. Full sun. Yep. Okay, what kind of plants do well in the sun for baskets? Um, petunias, obviously, geraniums, a lot of the old fashioned. A lot of the sunflower type uh, plants love the sun. So now these ones you call monochromatic, one color. Yeah. And now if you pull out one of the ones over here, okay. you don't really get an appreciation for the size of it until it's sort of separated from the group. Wow, and that has how many different? These are, um, these are called triple plug baskets. There's three different plants in these baskets. Okay, now mm -hmm. you've got one over on the other side that look tall and you don't even know if they're baskets when you look at them first. Okay, these ones are, are um, combination baskets. There's about nine different flowers in these baskets, so we designed these from scratch. And will those climb right out of the basket and over a house or something? Well, they will if they have a support. Um, if they have nowhere to climb, they'll just start spilling over the top. This is a black-eyed Susan vine that you see climbing up the handle of this basket. It is beautiful. Now, all of these are for sale to the general public to benefit the VIU horticulture program? That's absolutely correct. Yep. Okay, excellent. We're going to talk more about this facility, and there's a big uh, part of this high-tech greenhouse right in the way there. We're going to talk more about this later on Go Island. You can purchase these baskets. They're only $27 each. You can do that at 2324 East Wellington Road. It's the GR Payne Horticultural Center. We'll be back with more about that. Still to come today, setting sail for the BC Summer Games in Nanaimo, floating in a world free of sensory input, and Canada's sculpture capital, a guided tour. Hi, I'm Jeff Lott, President of Nanaimo's 2014 BC Summer Games. Did you know that July 17th, 7 p.m., is our opening ceremonies in Rotary Bowl? Please come out and support the over 3,000 athletes that are coming to our community to participate in 19 different sports. We look forward to having you here. Thank you. That is Anne caring for a beautiful Brugmansia here in the Propagation Center of the GR Payne Horticultural Center. It's all part of Vancouver Island University. And in all my years doing stories in Nanaimo, this is my first time here. Long overdue, absolutely beautiful. We're going to tell you more about it later on this edition of Go Island. But first, the BC Summer Games are coming up in Nanaimo, July 17th to the 20th. And one of the sports featured is sailing. Kelly Robinson now catches up with a group of youth sailors who are looking ahead to the competition. And the results are in Chris and Tiernan have qualified to compete in the BC Summer Games. So congratulations and good luck to those two young sailors. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. We're here in the shade zone of the GR Payne Horticultural Center, a part of VIU. And Anne, who we've met, is particularly proud of her begonias here. And it's easy to see why. And just another reminder that all of these hanging baskets are available for purchase. You just need to come out to 2324 East Wellington Road. Thanks for watching Go Island. We're going to throw things over now to Dan Kahn. He's floating. 
floating, just floating. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Loving this place more and more. Michael Gerard is the chair of the horticulture program at Vancouver Island University. What is this facility used okay, for? This facility is used to support the uh, VIU's horticulture program, which is we're part of the trades and technology department at the VIU. Okay. Horticulture is a uh, apprenticeable trade, just like any of the trades we have. They're like welding, carpentry. Uh, this is a one year program. Our students start in January. They're here for uh, 18 weeks. Then they're off working in the summer, two of them here right now, but the, the rest are out working. And then they're back in uh, late August to finish off for uh, another 18 weeks. Now this has been here since 1998 and the timing was perfect. It was donated by a gentleman That's right. and then the parkway came through and how did all that come yeah, together? Yeah, basically a fellow named George Payne had lived on the site since 1974. He had a little sawmill bit business going, uh, no family. He wanted to see his land uh, kept for, I guess, perpetuity for some purpose that it was related to forestry. We do forestry activities in our program in, in uh, seedling production, so it was kind of a good match. And uh, it was fortuitous in the fact that you know the highway had gone through where um, where our greenhouses were, the upper campus. So uh, set to work designing a facility that was uh, purpose built for horticulture. We have um, about 13,000 square feet of classroom space. Um, 7,000 square feet of greenhouses and with those facilities we can basically support our landscape curriculum teaching people how to work in landscapes construct that maintain it and then as you saw or we'll see today looking at their production activities which has to do with uh, production of, of you know bedding plants for seedlings vegetables Wow. Okay, so it's it's sort of unique. It's a you know a beautiful rural atmosphere. Um, we have around only uh, five minutes from yeah. town. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's sometimes people don't know where we are but it's uh, Basically, we have 28 students or so in a, in a good year, and uh, it's a great spot because with the quietness of the atmosphere, it's a much more much more relaxed than being at the main campus. Mm -hmm. Now, you had 28 students last year. You're at a capacity of yeah. How? Well, 28 is what we're funded funded for. Okay. It varies. I'd say it probably averages about 24 students per year. Last year was a really big big class. We had 32 students. Yeah. We'd taken some on in the summer, kind of a, a dual start. Uh, but this year, a little bit quieter. 18 students. And I'm sorry, I'm not sure where to go now in the conversation as to what kind of people and is, is horticulture a popular career to start getting yeah. into. And then you're also working with the public in the sale of what happens That's right. Here. So, well, I mean, horticulture is very diverse occupation compared to other uh, other apprenticeable trades. Uh, probably the highest paying part of it or, you know, where you're going to make the most money is to work for uh, municipalities right. and uh, municipal uh, gardening. But people will work for private companies. They'll start up their own companies. And then on the production side, they'll work in nurseries, you know, garden centers. Uh, uh, our students tend to, we tend to attract a student that's uh, kind of a, um, uh, doing a career lifestyle change, right? I mean, our average student age is probably around early, like early 20s. Okay. Uh, very and that's considered older? Yeah. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, we had we've had people that have come back, right, you know, after they've been teachers or something, they've retired and they've switched to it. So, and why do people take horticulture? They're, they're very interested in, uh, you know, working out so outside. They like the physicality of the occupation. Yeah. Uh, and the it does, beauty of it, it the does, sheer yeah, beauty yeah, of yeah, it all. It's said, it's you know, they have a saying that, you know, you know, why be horticulturist? Well, horticulturists kind of beautify the world, right? Yeah. Uh, that's one reason. Uh, uh, I've noticed our students are very environmentally conscious. They're, they're looking for, for yeah. ways of bettering the environment. Okay. People, people can come by and uh, pick up baskets, take some of the beauty home with them. Yeah, exactly. Spot, yeah, that's right. Thing. Exactly. We're okay. we're not that far. It's just a short jaunt up from uh, Bowen Road. So um, yeah, we're open that's basically good. May right through probably into early uh, July. May through July, Monday to Friday, nine to five here. 2324 East Wellington Road. Come check it out. It's pretty amazing. And another place that is doing a good job of beautifying their outdoors is Castlegar. That's up in our next installment of Big Summer. I think that is just a great idea and some of those sculptures look amazing. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. Another note here from the GR Payne Horticulture Centre is that this is the latest project. It's a dwarf conifer garden that is completely deer resistant and they are open to the public here. Once again, you can purchase the hanging baskets or get information about how to keep your garden deer resistant. The best way to do that is just give them a phone call. They're happy to help. 250-754-8756. Thanks for watching this edition of Go Island. We'll see you next time, and you gotta check this place out. 
Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Centre, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.